Sunday high noon at Luohu Koan, the border here crossing to Hong Kong. And it's very full of shops where you can buy electronics. Uh, the original beads. What you see here are people who are filling some forms to apply for the e-channel here to cross the border only using the fingerprint of your of your thumb. So Maggie lately she got her Shenzhen Huko, so she's illegal and she registers now. So next time she can only come here with her ID card or passport and uses her thumb to cross the border it's quite fast I also have it for the Hong Kong side actually made a video about it also if you're interested check it out and she's done in less than 30 minutes seconds sorry why we actually came to Hong Kong today is because we want to buy wedding rings for marriage registry next week Friday and we just came one metro station from the Lohu border, it's Shangshui. But you can see what's going on here in Chou Tai Fuk. Here at Shangshui, there's a lot of micro trading going on with the milk powder. And uh, you have these two big shopping malls, Landmark North and Metropolis or something like that. So, yeah, Chinese who are getting married, they come over. To Hong Kong and they buy mostly gold. So you even need to store your luggage here. They're, they're buying everything here. It's crazy. So just getting off here at Lohu from the metro and you can see these micro traders or whatever people here from mainland China going to Hong Kong buying wretched stuff they they are packed like donkeys I mean look at this kids trolley she barely can't steer it the, the wheels are already bending it's crazy just to transport as much as possible bye bye well, you also can see you're only allowed. Okay, it's video, no photo. No video. And we're back on the Shenzhen side, and just five meters out of the body, you can see. These guys here with the milk powder cans, cigarettes, it's crazy and I mean border police or whatever is just two meters behind and it's forbidden to bring more than two cans of these milk powder over to China because the mainland Chinese they were buying the whole stock of Hong Kong and yeah they have to had to restrict it the hong kong government that the hong kong people can have milk powder for their own kids i even read lately an article uh, of the newspaper in my hometown back in germany that in germany uh the chinese buying online the milk powder in germany they're running out of stock there oh, you're cold everything but mainly shampoo, milk powder, diapers. Yeah. I don't like Lohu that much. This train station area here and uh, Lohu commercial city, which you can see here. It's just a tourist kind of rip off place where you can buy everything like in Dongmen or in Hua Chiang Bay here it's just a bit more expensive and actually a lot of Chinese 
speak English in there. And I have to go in there now to pick up my wedding suit. So I'm gonna show you a bit what's going on inside there. Then, see you can they me even make the ad here for the milk powder. So this micro trading even goes so far that they hire random people or retired people who make their border walks every day. Uh, yeah, I guess mostly with Shenzhen Huko or with an ordinary passport with a Chinese passport because Chinese they also need a special passport. To go to to go to Macau and Hong Kong, right? And uh, if they use the e-channel, for example, and they cross the border to Hong Kong, come back and try to go a second time to Hong Kong the same day, the e-channel, the computer uh, will will signal to one of the border police guys that this guy is trying to go a second time to Hong Kong, and they catch him and they don't let him through yeah you can I mean I'm not a micro trader just went there because for jewelry or for for some luxury stuff it's cheaper to go to Hong Kong it's even cheaper to drink a beer German beer for example imported in Hong Kong than do it for example in Coco Park commercial city as I said before it's a five-story shopping mall I actually have to go on the fifth floor because on the fifth floor you have all the tailors uh, you also have uh, the bus station in the basement here and yeah this is that's basically it Walk a little bit around here on the second floor, for example. You have the Beats by Dre, all these tablets. I'm pretty sure it's more expensive than in Huachiang Bay. You can buy clothes, sunglasses, belts. Yeah, see. But, yeah, as I said, it's more for the Hong Kong tourists to come over here because it's right beside the border. If you really want to buy stuff, I wouldn't recommend to come here. I'd rather go to Dongmen or Hua Chiang Bay. Hua Chiang Bay, lately, it's a pity, they closed this foreign market, Mother Earth. They're gonna tear it down. I don't know what they're gonna build there. I bet another shopping mall. Hello, DVD, fake watch, sunglasses. <laughs> well, I don't need this stuff because I have my DVD guy in Hwangang Village, for example. Sunglasses, some fake Ray Ban you buy for around 20 RMB in Dongmen. Suits. Yeah, so as I said, I'm going to pick up my suit, wedding suit, trousers, jacket, shirt, and a bow tie, and uh, a traditional Chinese red jacket as well. And all together was like 1300. The suit itself with a shirt would have been. 980 
So yeah, you can bargain a bit, but more or less all the shops have the same prices. And it takes like 10 to 14 days till they finished your suit. Sure, tailor made. And this is it here. This place.